In this video, we're going to create a Flash application for Samsung Smart TVs. But this time, we're going to create a Flash 10.1 application instead of the Flash Lite 3.1 application that we created in our last video. And once again, this assumes that you've already got the Samsung SDK downloaded and installed, and we're using the Samsung SDK 2.5.1, which is specific for Samsung 2010 and 2011 TVs. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our Flash application. And I've got one set up here to just simply display some text on the screen. Um, we're more focused on getting the app created and on the TV in this demo. So I've got my player settings set to Flash 10 and 10.1, and I've got my action script settings to 3.0. We've got our stage size set to uh, 1280 by 720, and this is the maximum size for an application on the Samsung 2011 TVs. You can also set this to 960 by 540 but the 2011 TVs allows you to go a little bit larger. So I'm going to go ahead and go full screen with this app. Now, if you watch the other videos for creating JavaScript and Flash Lite-based applications, you'll notice that we could create a new project and select a template um, that we could use for this. However, these templates for the Flash project assume that you want to use Flash Lite for your application, and it also includes some HTML and JavaScript and CSS that wrap the Flash application. However, for Flash 10.1 apps, there is no way to run them within the context of HTML and JavaScript. Samsung TVs will launch your Swift file and it will load it full screen and it will be the application so there is no shell or anything else around it. So to create this uh, project, we're going to have to hack this a little bit so that it will work for our purposes. And the way I do this is I simply go and navigate to where my SDK is installed, and you'll see an apps folder, which is where all of our projects and applications are installed. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call this uh, Samsung Flash 10 Test. I'm going to copy a couple of files in here. Now, the only files you actually need for a, a Samsung Flash 10.1 application is the Swift file and a config file. So I'm going to copy this into my Flash 10 test. And then I'm going to go back to the Samsung SDK, and now I can simply open this project. So here's my Samsung 10 test, Flash 10 test. And you'll notice if I look at the XML, this is all you really need for the Flash application. There's other things in here that I haven't filled out, but the main things to, to look at are two tags. One is the app type. Now, when you set the app type to 13, this is telling the Samsung SDK that this is a Flash 10.1 application, and it is meant to be run full screen with no wrapper or HTML involved. The second part you need to look at is the contents tag. This will tell it where the actual Swift file is, and in this case, it's right in the same directory. It's my Samsung Flash 10.swift. Um, you can set the other properties. All this stuff is documented in the documentation on the Samsung developer form. But this is essentially what you need to do for uh, Flash 10.1 applications. Now, for packaging and getting ready to put on the TV, it's, it's the same process that we've done before, where we tell it to update the files on the server. And I will create this and package it. Overwrite my existing, and packaging is complete. Now, in the previous videos, we actually tested the files in the emulator before putting them on the TV. Now, unfortunately, for Flash 10.1 applications, you cannot actually test them within the emulator. You have to do it directly on the TV. But you still need to go through the process of packaging it so it can be synchronized to the TV, which we've just done. And now we'll move to the TV, and we'll be able to see this app running right on the TV. So now that our application has been packaged and ready to put on the TV, now what we do is we walk over to the TV, hit the Smart Hub button on the remote, and we can log in with our develop account. So I'm going to hit the red A to log in. We've already created the developer account. I'm going to select it and I'm going to log in. And now I'm going to go to the settings, which is the blue D button, and go down to the development menu. And I'm going to do the application synchronization one more time. And don't forget to set your IP. Always check it to make sure it's right. And I will do the synchronization, and we should be getting our apps.
Okay, now that that's done, we're going to hit the B button to sort the applications. We're going to sort by name to make them show up. And now, we're going to be able to see our application run on the TV. So you can see that I don't have any icons here. It's, my, it's a user application and it says Samsung Flash 10. So if we run this, it should say our Hello TV Flash 10.1. So that's how to get a Flash app developed for the Samsung SDK with Flash 10.1.